Hey everyone, welcome to the next uh, video for Hookbeard. <clears throat> this one we're doing the block out for Hookbeard, uh, his body. So, and uh, welcome to the Patreon family, uh, Cheryl Bertolini. Um, so yeah, so from here we kind of we kind of fleshed out what we liked for the the head and some of the hair and everything, and so now we're gonna start blocking out the the body using a lot more primitive shapes. <clears throat> so here we're using like we're kind of looking at like the big shapes. I kind of wanted him to look a lot more like uh, this this character for from Overwatch, uh, Roadhog. Uh, kind of have that really like fat belly and the big proportions, that fun like he like heavy hook champion type. So there I just <clears throat> went into my IMM tool, IMM brush, and I'm pulling out a sphere and just adjusting it to the shapes. Looking at different characters, but I still I still keep on kind of coming, ba coming back to Roadhog. So there I just have um, symmetry on a ZBrush. <clears throat> and I'm bringing out two different spheres for his chest. If you look into anatomy, then you'll kind of can see how the chest works and it, how, how it flows into the shoulder. Let's make sure that you have kind of anatomy references um, if you're kind of new to making characters. So here I'm kind of pulling out uh, new uh, spheres for the shoulders and I'm just putting uh, bringing into bringing the chest into the shoulders like I was uh, talking about. <clears throat> shoulders kind of teardrop. If you can kind of see of your own arm, they kind of teardrop into the upper upper arm. So there I'm kind of building out biceps with a, um, it's similar to a sphere. You can just use a sphere. I was using an oval that I had built out from Maya. And I just duplicated the sphere for the tricep backs. Kind of get those big shapes going <clears throat> for the arm. So remember, the uh, bicep comes from um, that pivot point in your shoulder, and so you kind of have to just like think about um, the origin of muscles and like how they how they work, and and uh, especially when it comes down to animating these characters, you need to make sure that the it will it'll animate properly and that it looks looks uh, like it should. <clears throat> so there, I'm kind of just using that sphere. Or, um, and kind of building out the a little bit of the back shape, very much like a pear shape kind of character. Um, has a tapered in back, and then has a, a big belly. Um, we, you know, the original design for Hookbeard was very small and just kind of had like big Hookbeard hair, hook like mustache type things. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted like a tankier kind of fellow. Is it kind of wouldn't make sense to be able to throw an anchor. Um, with a smaller character, unless you're kind of just being like, you know, oh, he's just some kind of hidden power, but I want this to be pretty literal. Um, you know, he's just a, a bigger character who can hoist an anchor. <clears throat> and uh, usually you want to have, you know, a probably a bigger, um, like he, could, he could be like strong and bodybuildery type, but if you're a pirate, you're probably not so bodybuildery type. You're, uh, you're more survival, um, you know, so you're not working out in the gym all the time. So I'm looking at some reference from Overwatch. You got your worn here. So I'm kind of bringing that bicep into that that crease. Um, if you look at uh, an anatomy reference, you can kind of see how the muscles kind of shape in. Kind of have that rear rear deltoid as well. Okay, now I'm kind of bringing out some some kind of sphere, or not sphere, um, oval type legs. Um, just bringing them in a little bit. And the cool thing about this uh, IMM tool is that it'll automatically um, kind of like mask out the rest of the pieces. So you can easily block out a shape. <clears throat> so there I'm bringing out the secondary uh, oval and, and kind of shaping in the calves. If you can't see on the the bottom left, um, I'm kind of just using uh, I'm masking and unmasking these different these different spots with my uh, hotkeys. Um, if you want a more thorough breakdown, definitely join our Patreon for a, a, a more thorough uh, breakdown of everything happening. I I will go in depth with like real time 
uh, explanations and, and key key bindings. <clears throat> okay, here, yeah, I'm kind of pulling out the uh, the forearm and um, just kind of thinking about these big shapes, like what, like like kind of like Popeye. Popeye has these big forearms, and you know, like um, how would that feel and uh, like just being able to. I guess like you know, if you're if you're pulling rope. You're probably gonna have bigger forearms than you're gonna have uh, your upper arms. Um, you know, a lot more like control strength. <clears throat> so here, I, I kind of just pulled. I, I kind of copied out the or duplicated the uh, forearm, and I built out the, the hands with them. And here, I, I brought on another oval um, <clears throat> or an appendage from uh, my IMM, and I'm just kind of shaping it. Looking at that thumb from Overwatch character and kind of like looking at the kind of fun shape that he has going on. Again, there's a lot of things I'm doing and kind of thinking about that um, it's just kind of hard to explain in uh, the shorter videos that we'll do on we do on uh, YouTube. So, um, <clears throat> just kind of talking about like big big picture stuff on these YouTube videos <clears throat> so here yeah I'm kind of bringing out the meat of the uh, the hand and kind of like uh, just kind of getting some nice big clean shapes before we dyna mesh <clears throat> there's just tweaking and tweaking. Uh, kind of thinking about again like this uh, <clears throat> this tanky bigger character and like when what it should look like. So here I uh, I go ahead and dynamesh, and as you can see I'm going through like a, a big smooth. <clears throat> there are other ways to uh, to smooth like the main mass of the character by using like the deformation tab, um, but sometimes I want a little less or more smooth depending on. Uh, what I'm working with. So here I'm kind of bringing out some more of the muscles. Again, make sure you have some um, anatomy references for like musculature. Uh, even though he's not a bodybuilder, you still need to have like muscle shapes in involved. Uh, so there I have kind of like the elbow and bringing it into the the wrist bone. Um, I think it's just it's more of like. <clears throat> you can almost build a bodybuilder muscle like muscles like musculature um and then just kind of smooth it out depending on what you need uh, but not everyone's going to be so jacked you know here i'm looking at kind of like the the shape looks like a roadhog on the this picture oh here i'm using h polish to kind of clean up that those ridges from the dynamesh um yeah he has like a very small chest and just a big belly to kind of just bring out those big shapes so i'm, I'm kind of doing the same uh, I've got a collarbone there. I'm kind of just going to build on the collarbone. You got the back split. Um, yeah, <clears throat> so for this, I'm using a lot of uh, clay build up tool. The clay build up tool is. Uh, something that I'll, I'll use a whole lot during this uh, this stage of the game. So you, you have those nice clean shapes, but now you want to refine or define the uh, musculature. So I'll use uh, clay build up. Gotta have that that you know button there and uh, let's get, make sure it's <laughs> sure it's looking good. Um, but yeah, those biceps are looking pretty good, and, and you know, kind of kind of filling out that shape under the chest. Um, you know, just, there we go, uh, with the, um, bringing the chest into the shoulder, that's kind of what it is in reality, and so I kind of have a nice, like, clean transition between the chest and the front of the toy. So I'm kind of blocking on the knees. Again, this is stylized, this is not, like, full... You know reality, um, so it's you know it's gonna it's gonna be more just of a, a base shape. Now, also, it's gonna be covered a lot by clothing, so there's not a whole reason to be so strict 
until you know exactly what is going to be showing. I do know that this character is going to be like sleeveless, so I did want to have um, a lot of kind of shape going on in his arms. Um, so that that is one thing that I definitely thought about uh, while building him out. Kind of plumping him out, um, kind of getting that macho man like beer gut kind of thing going on with you know the upper the upper chest is kind of comically uh, pushed in. You need to have big hoisting shoulders, kind of like a um, a person that's doing like shot put. Um, shot put guys always have like pretty good triceps and, and frontal deltoids because they'd be able to push that like cannonball type of weight. Okay, just kind of building out um, the feet now uh, using spheres. Um, just pop them out, and now I'm kind of building out the base of the foot. <clears throat> okay, yeah, just look at some you know foot references and just kind of the base foot shape. You don't need to block out the toes because. Um, unless they're having, unless they literally have like flip flops or sandals or whatever, you, you know, there's no reason to block out toes. So there, I just dynamesh the feet in to the main mass. Um, you know, you really just have to. You could even just like model the shoes and or whatever, however you want to do it. Okay, so here I need to kind of still block out the rest of the hands, and I wanted the hands to be bigger. So here I'm expanding the hands. The problem is I'm like expanding both sides, so they're being split. So I kind of brought brought about both in. But yeah, one of the hands bigger, um, kind of like Gragas right here in the reference. Uh, his hands were kind of large, and so I uh, I upped the hand size for mine too. Just a you know obviously just a big character that just has you know comically large proportions. Um, and it's kind of scaling up. And I know Wreck-It Ralph has the same kind of thing where his forearms and hands just like taper like unnaturally. Because normally it's like the upper arm is larger and then the forearm and then the hand is smaller. But um, Wreck-It Ralph is like a block hands and like it kind of scales down a little bit as it goes to the shoulder. This is going to be a similar case. Uh, don't forget when you're making characters to always think about um, their purpose. Always think about what they're supposed to do. And that can really push uh, the aesthetic. Uh, always think about um, function over form, because function can define the form. <clears throat> like, if this character's purpose is to hoist heavy things, he needs to be a probably heavy character. Again, unless he's using magic or something like that. Um. Kind of, kind of like build up those calves there. Um, a second ago, and kind of figure out what shapes to build out the the fingers with. I'm, I'm picking up like uh, references for fingers and um, things like that. Like, okay, I need to do it a certain way. I'm looking at this Roadhog picture of his hands, but it's not really defined. It's kind of hidden. Here, coming back at it, and I'm uh, I'm just bringing the finger out and using the snake hook tool to kind of get this nice quick shape. You can get like the base form of the fingers, and there I'm just duplicating. Um. So we're doing the three uh, three primary fingers and a thumb. We're no, we're not going to do the uh, four fingers. I think I do try the four fingers out, and I just didn't like it. Um, but we 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 have decided officially that we're going to start just doing like three fingers and a thumb from now on. To kind of represent uh, kind of the old style cartoons they had that going on, um, and uh, it's just not really a need for this style that's more cartoony and, and fun like even though we're gonna try to go from like an overwatch as far as like quality of texture and a little bit of the detail um we still want to have like this kind of fun um playful playfulness about the game i think this kind of uh, having the three fingers is, 
is a extension of that that thought thought process. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this block out, and uh, we'll uh, see you next time for props. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Baka Bros Entertainment for more updates on our game development videos. And just remember, keep on developing, bros.